Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam. Hugs and kisses to you. Happy Saturday to you. <laughs> there is so much. There is literally so many ways that one can look at the situation between Priscilla Presley and granddaughter Riley. So many ways. Two videos have already been made. Um, one today and one yesterday, I believe. Both will be up tonight, but this is the third one I'm going to do, okay? Now, um, some of y'all have been asking me to kind of go back into Priscilla's bloodline a little bit and go to her mom who recently um, passed away. I don't know if it's safe enough to do that, but what I will do is I've got the wiki page of Priscilla. Now, Priscilla was born in Brooklyn, okay? She's a Brooklyn lady. She's certainly about her money, but I just want to kind of go back a little bit and then go to the cards, okay? Right? Um, I also want to see how Elvis feels, um, whether Elvis is going to help Riley, because I did a reading today, and, you know, the outcome of the reading was, of course, Elvis is going to help his granddaughter because... He is in her and she is in him, right? But um, I want to see how he's going to help her exactly and just kind of dip into Priscilla's earlier energies, okay? Who she really is as a person. We know, uh, Shay, we know that she's, <laughs> I was going to say, we know she's glamorous, sophisticated. She loves to dress. Um, but she's had the she's had the money to do all that, hasn't she? She's been earning almost a million dollars every year, okay? And um, that's that's a pretty penny. It's a pretty penny. It does look though that her money. It looks like her money is going to be cut off. You'll have to look at the reading that I did earlier today. Riley isn't playing with Grandma at all. Mama is about to feel the pinch. And all of those people who depend upon Mama is about to feel the pinch too. They are about to feel the pinch, namely Scientology. Okay, it looks like the chickens are coming home to roost. Okay, because I mean, how? When was the last time John Travolta made a movie? <laughs> I shouldn't mention John like that. I actually love me some John Travolta. Ooh wee. 1970s Italian hot man. Oh, yes. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever and Grease. Grease lightning. Oh, Grease lightning. <laughs> Look, if it wasn't for Elvis Presley, we wouldn't have had Grease. Period. Okay? And of course, we salute the other rock and roll greats that made Elvis Presley part of who he was. But there's no denying that the guy was audacious, he was different, he was outside of the box, and he, he was glad as his son. So I can't say he didn't give a damn, because he loved God, but he didn't care very much. He didn't mind about um, flouting tradition and bucking and butting heads. That's why I love Elvis Presley. I like anybody who is confident to do something different to be out there, to take a chance, to take a risk and not care what other people said. The guy was brave. Like, y'all would be bigging up Elvis and if he was now, y'all would be bigging him up. I, I really don't feel that we really appreciate the essence of the king. All right, let's go back to Priscilla, right? And I'm going to look at her wiki page. I ain't going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to read a little bit Little bit and pieces, okay? Little bits and pieces. So, um, so Priscilla Ann Presley, uh, she was Wagner, I believe, and then she changed by adoption to Bule or Bulu or Bule, okay? She was born May 24th, 1945, all right? And um, American actress and businesswoman extraordinaire okay we already credited her with being badder than Chris Jenner 
okay, in terms of she about her business. <laughs> she certainly hasn't, well, she, she is, okay? So um, she is the co-founder and former chairman of Elvis Presley Enterprises, EPE, the company that turned Graceland into one of the top tourist attractions in the United States. In her acting career, remember her in Dynasty? Was it Dynasty or Dallas? Anyway, she was um, in Naked Gun and she was also in Dallas playing Jenna Wade. Okay? Um, and she, she, she can really act. She acts very, very, very well. She has two children, Lisa Marie Presley and Navarone. Lisa Marie, unfortunately, passed away at a very, very young age, left twin daughters and left her daughter Riley and her grandbaby and a son-in-law and also Priscilla. Priscilla was born in Brooklyn at Brooklyn Naval Hospital on May the 24th, 1945. Her maternal grandfather was Albert Henry Iverson and he was born in Norway. So let's just see if we can pick up some Albert Henry Iverson Norwegian energy, okay? Pull this back a little bit. Here we go. Albert Henry Iverson. Grandfather, maternal grandfather. Nine of Swords. We have some depression on Albert Henry Iverson's energy. Depression and we have separation as well. This is the Nine of Swords here. Don't know if he was separated from his mother, but there is this kind of separation energy that may have transferred to Priscilla. It's a detachment from people and it's a depression whereby it's not really, he's not really talking with other people. He never really talked to other people about the way he felt, but within himself, he was very, very depressed. This has passed on to Priscilla. She hasn't talked about it or she didn't talk about it. She, that's something she kept inside. Okay. This comes from her maternal grandfather, Albert Henry Iverson. Right, let's continue. Hopefully this will give us some little threads that we can pull together. Okay? Spiritual threads, bloodline threads. So he was Norwegian. He emigrated to the United States where he married Lorraine Davis, who was of Scottish and Irish and English descent. Okay, so Lorraine Davis, Scott, English and Irish descent. Okay. Um, right. Their only daughter was Anne Lillian Iverson. Okay. Who was later called or changed her name to Anne. Okay. Her name was Anna. Okay. So Anna Lillian Iverson. That's Priscilla's mom. And she gave birth to her at 19 years old. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy. Very, very tepid, but warm waters. Very generous. Very, very loving. Clarification card. Hmm. But some problems. We've got Nine of Wands here, which is the clarification card for this Queen of Cups. As loving as Priscilla's birth mother was, she made some mistakes. There were some problems, some mistakes, some bad decisions that she made behind some bad, bad decisions and bad actions. She was somebody who went through one drama to another drama to another drama. But by and large, she kept it together and she kept on moving, but she kept on making mistakes. Let's get a clarification card for this, okay? Because this is her birth mother, right? 
We've got the Hermit card here in reverse. So what we have is secrecy and we have wisdom in reverse. Seemed as if this lady, this Queen of Cups, she followed her heart and her emotions more than her head. She made some unwise decisions and she kept on doing them. I don't know what they were. She was 19 when she gave birth to Priscilla, so she's a young lady. I don't know what kind of things that she was into, but she was messing up a lot. The Hermit in reverse. Just a second. Let me continue reading this. Mm -hmm. Ashe. Making bad decisions. Priscilla's biological father was a US Navy pilot, James Frederick Wagner. And he was the son of Catherine and Harold Wagner. Um, they came from Cherry Tree Township in Pennsylvania. At the age of 23, he married Priscilla's mother, Anne. So, some years later, when Priscilla was four, that's when they got married. Okay, maybe it's because he was working as a, as a pilot or... 19 was too young for the mother to get married or her parents didn't agree or something like that. I don't know. But there's a gap between 19 and 24. Okay. Now this is um, 1944. Okay. They had been dating for more than three years. Wagner died in a plane crash returning home on leave when Priscilla was six months old. Huh? I'm just trying to make sense of this. You know, Wiki, anybody can update it. So it might be lots of rubbish on here, but hold on a second. She gave birth to Priscilla when she was 19 years old. At 23, he married Priscilla's mother. Okay, so he married Priscilla's mother when she was 19 years old and he was 23. Okay, some of you probably got that already. Okay, hmm, and then he was killed and Priscilla was six months old. What happened then? In 1948, Anne married a United States Air Force officer named Paul Bule from Quebec, Canada. The couple raised Priscilla along with half-siblings Donald and uh, Michelle and Jeffrey and twins Thomas and Timothy Bule. Okay, so that's where the twins come in as well. Okay, I don't know about Michael Lockwood's side, but there's twins on Priscilla's side. Okay, what's the name of the twins again? Um, <laughs> the name of the twins... Thomas and Timothy. Okay, there we go. All right, so Priscilla took on the Bule surname. Okay, so she was the only daughter, so she wasn't the guy's daughter, but she was Anne's daughter. Okay, right, these were her half siblings. Okay, but he adopted her, her. Her mother's new husband adopted her and gave her his name. Okay? All right. Over the next few years, the growing family repeatedly relocated as her stepfather's Air Force career moved them from Connecticut to New Mexico to Maine. Priscilla describes herself during this period as a shy, pretty little girl, unhappily accustomed to moving from base to base every two or three years. Priscilla later recalled how uneasy she felt having to move on or move so often. 
never knowing if she could make friends for life or if she would fit in with the people that she would meet in the next place. Now that's interesting because Priscilla is part of Scientology cult now. And so there is a, a group a belonging, there is a, you know, she felt like an outsider. Uh, well, I would say that she felt like an outsider, but she felt as if she wasn't, she didn't have a connection to anyone for a long period of time. Right? Then she married Elvis Presley. How did she feel during the marriage? Hold on a second. How does she feel? Does she feel connected to him? Because he's a star. He gives himself to his audience, his fans, the world. Did she feel connected to him? She talks about how close they were and she knew everything about him and she catered to him, etc. But did she feel connected to him or was it more like a business caretaker connection? Seven of coins here. This is like an investment. This is interesting energy. I'll just show you the card again. Throwing things into the fire, keeping the fire burning, like throwing coal or kindle into the fire. Or well, not kindle, but coal. Something to stoke the fire. The fire. She feels as if she has invested in Elvis and she felt at the time that she was investing in him. This is interesting and it tells you something a little bit about her, her mindset. That as she invested, this is the coins, it's pentacles. As she invested her efforts, her time, her sweat, her tears into him, she was hoping to reap something from it. But she was just waiting. It's interesting energy. Because the seven of coins is about, you know, you see on the right away card, there's the farmer and he's got his hands on his hip and he's got his hand on his hoe, on his shovel. And he's looking at the crops that are growing because he's been planting and the crops are growing and there are some fruit there, some pentacles that he can pluck. But he ain't plucking it yet because he's not ready and he wants it to grow bigger. He's look, he wants the investment to be super big and large. But waiting, though, is the interesting word that uh, psychically is uh, pulling me at the moment. So there's a sense that Priscilla was waiting for a payday with Elvis. <laughs> Did she have a premonition that he was going to die? Did she know that he was... Did she know for certain... It's a bit like family, you know, there are some women who marry older men and really older men, older than themselves. And they do that because <laughs> most of them, if not all of them, do that because they're waiting for the man to die. So then if he has put her name or their name into property and, and in his wills and, and, and all of that, Property, wills, assets, trust, the whole lot. You know, that's why this is a source of contention when there's some older guys and they've had a younger wife and they've not had her for very long, you know, like six months, one year, year and a half. <laughs> and then they, you know, pop their clogs, so to speak, you know. Um, then that money goes to the woman who barely knew him, that type of thing. You know, you hear about this type of thing all the time. But it seems with Priscilla, she knew what she was waiting. And then she also put in her time as an investment, knowing that at some point she's going to reap something. So this is interesting. You can see there's two energies on that card, though. That's not Priscilla and Elvis. That's Priscilla and something else. It may be like her alter ego, some kind of mini demon that was inside of her from a long time ago that she's had this deal with and this conversation with. I haven't had anybody to take care of me. 
even though she had a stepfather. But my real father has died and my mother remarried and had all of these children and I haven't got any connections anywhere. So let me take care of me. It's that type of energy that's coming up, you know. I got to look after me. I got to focus on me. I can't get... Anyway, this, this is basically what it is, okay? But she invested time because she wanted to reap a dividend. She was just waiting. Clarification card for that. Excuse me. King of Coins in reverse. But why would Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, be the be the king of coins in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse? Was she going to empty all his resources? Did she plan to take all of his money? Clarification card, temperance in reverse. Ooh, with the temperance card, family, what we usually see, this is Elvis here on the king of um, coins in reverse. But on the temperance card, as you can see here by the Hindu god and the lotus in reverse, it's usually an archangel and it's usually prayer but in the reverse it's some kind of negative entity <laughs> that one would pray to or petition it's not good prayers it's not and then also on top of that the temperance card is about trying to mix things and make them blend and combine together for for a peaceful kind of solution or a peaceful situation but in the reverse, it's temperance, it's upside down, it's, it's tense, it's, uh, and tenseness and waiting, the anticipation, when you're waiting for something, it does make you feel tense. And there was great difficulty. So as much as she says, <clears throat> as much as Priscilla says, she loved Elvis, and Elvis loved her. It seemed like when they divorced, there wasn't any love there. She didn't love him when they divorced. She was trying to extract as much money as possible out of him. And it looked like she was just waiting for something to happen to him before she got his money. Like she knew. The question is, how did she know that he was going to die? Was she involved in, de in Elvis's death? Hello, Uncle Elvis. Hello. Please, may I ask just one question? Please, I'm asking for your energy to just come to me. Just come to me. Just come to me. Very well dressed. My God. And he's wearing some robes as well. He's big. <laughs> okay that was fast that was quick family that was quick uncle was priscilla involved in your death Uncle, let me just ask one more time. Was Priscilla involved in your death? She knew about it. Disclaimer. She knew about it. Mm. Mm. 
have to stop. 